Hi, I'm Barbie. Welcome to my dream house. Hello loves, it's Brittany Vuitton, and after much anticipation, I'm finally back with another Barbie Dreamhouse video, and uh, so excited to do it. I know that you guys um, are really into the Barbie Dreamhouse videos, and I'm really happy to be doing them for you. Um, like I said, when I first started the series, it was something that I was um, definitely still very passionate about, um, something really fun for me. Um, something I love doing a lot. I've always loved Barbies and uh, I loved my Barbie dream house and to recreate that has always been fun. So to continue doing it and to see you guys' excitement for more videos, um, the excitement and the joy is just, it's contagious. So thank you so much for your love and support. Um, as you could see in the beginning of the video, I was cruising in my awesome convertible. I did promise in the last video that I would build this, but um, it took so much time and trial and error that unfortunately I'm for time's sake and uh, for my sanity, um, I'm not going to do that in this video. However, um, we can take a good look at it. And if you guys would like to see a tutorial on how to build this super cool Barbie convertible, I will do a special little um, tutorial um, on how to make Barbie's dream convertible. I'll, I'll do that just for you guys. So leave that in the comments section and let me know if you'd like to see a tutorial video just on that. And I will definitely make that happen. So, um, yeah, let's check it out. This cool, uh, window glass pane right there is the front windshield. We got these super cool rims right there. Styling, old school. Um, the color of the car is pink. I mean, what other, what other color would we choose for the car? Um, we have these for the bucket seats. Ha, literally. Um, right there, that's our, uh, I guess our shift knob. And then, um, we have the pedals right there. Um, and yeah, that's, that's pretty. And then there's the middle, like, console thing. Um, and then we have the trunk back here. And oh my goodness, we have a license plate. Let's see, Barbie's dream car. Yeah, so like I said, um, super cute. I love the way the convertible turned out. And again, if you would like to see a tutorial on how to build this convertible, let me know in the comment section and we'll spend a little bit of time or a lot of bit of time. I mean, you know, you never know how long it could take to recreate this thing because it did take a lot of trial and error. But uh, we'll take some time recreating that in a special little tutorial video. But let's go over here and get down to business. We're going to visit our friend Cotton Candy. See how she's doing. It looks like she's doing well. All right, so um, for the purpose of what we're doing today, we're going to make her pen a little bit smaller. There we go. And we're going to build the base of... Oops. I'm just messing this all up. That's um, that's going to be the base of her little cotton candy house. I wanted to make this um, an actual cotton candy. Um, cotton candy. Yes, cotton candy. <laughs> an actual, what would you call it? Like a, a cone of cotton candy? You know, like an ice cream cone? cotton candy cone I don't know whatever you want to call it but I want to make it like an actual thing of cotton candy a cotton candy thing um so the white part is going to be the cone the paper cone that the cotton candy comes on and it's not going to be super skinny because I know that when you get cotton candy it the cone is skinny but we're not going to make a sheep live in a stick that doesn't make any that makes no sense um so it at least has to be livable so that's going to be the stick part, and then the actual cotton candy is going to be this part right here. Oh, and I forgot to do the floor while we were at it. Let's go ahead and in and do that real quick. Oops. There we go. Oh, and actually, we're going to put some more dirt down, too, just so that... 
we or if the sheep wants to come out and play doesn't step out of the cotton candy house and immediately like break a leg just falling off of land we at least have some solid ground to walk out onto so here we go all right there we go and back to making the floor I mean, hey, this is pretty pretty spacious for a sheep, I think. Cotton candy should be pleased. Not too bad. Alright, so... I mean... Honestly, it almost kind of... Um, with, with this texture pack, it kind of looks like a... Padded um, room in here, but... It'll look cool... <laughs> It'll look cool when we're done. We will just, we'll see. It's not going to look like a padded room when we're, when we're finished with this. Okay. So, the ceiling is going to be pink. Do, do, do. Let's see. I think I forgot. Yep. Over here. Okay. That may have went out too far. Did that go out too far? Yep, sure did. There we go. Chop that right there. So, that's the first layer, and then we're just going to go out from there. I think we'll go out too, and then we'll go in. We'll go in after that so that we can really round off that delicious cotton candy cone or whatever you want to call it. Hey, if you guys have a better name for whatever that's called, definitely uh, let me know what you want to call it. I am up for suggestions. Cotton candy cone. Cotton candy thing. Swirl of cotton candy. Hey, whatever. Whatever they call it in your area. It's fine with me. Alright, so there's layer two. I don't know. Should we do one more? Yeah, we'll do one more and then we'll go in from there. It's going to be a big cotton candy. It's actually making me want some cotton candy. Um, for a while, I was addicted to going to um, Toys R Us and buying bags of cotton candy. Most people don't think of going to Toys R Us to buy bags of cotton candy, but they have they have some really good Hello Kitty cotton candy, and you buy a bag of um, it's Hello Kitty cotton candy, and it the flavors are. I can't remember, but there's a per, there inside there's a blue kind and a pink kind, and it's some kind of vanilla, and then some kind of something else. <laughs> I'm not very helpful, but it's Hello Kitty cotton candy, and it's absolutely delicious. And for a while, I was very addicted to running up the street to Toys R Us just to buy a bag of that deliciousness and eating like the whole thing the same day that I got it. And it was well worth it. I promise you. So I, uh, I recommend you run out to Toys R Us today and get you a bag of Hello Kitty cotton candy and eat it all in one day. No, I'm just kidding. I don't recommend that. But <laughs> if you do happen to go to Toys R Us and, and you see something, you should try it. Okay. So this is the most tedious part is filling all the gaps in but it's actually going pretty quick so whoa it is storming that's okay we work through the storms we're not scared
Oops, too high. It will be over shortly. And then we can stand back and look at the masterpiece. Or the disaster, you know, whatever. No, it should it should look very nice. We'll see how it turns out. And then after this, after we finish uh, the cotton candy house, we get to move the sheepy in. Is that it? That went fast. That doesn't look half bad. I could eat me some of that. Okay, so now that we have a little house done, I'm gonna add the name on there. Let's put that there. Let's see. Cotton space. Oops. Cotton candy. Oh, cotton candy's house is done. It's so cute. It's like almost as tall as my house. It's taller than some parts of my house. Wow. That's a big house for cotton candy. You're a lucky sheep. Okay, so that's pretty much all we have time for for now. Um, in the next video, we will actually go ahead and move cotton candy into the new cotton candy house. And uh, we'll do some more things around here. But thanks so much for joining. I'm excited to see you guys in the next video. And even more excited to be um, getting back into the groove of things and doing more Barbie Dreamhouse videos. Um, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Share this video with all your friends. Um, and definitely come back and watch more Barbie Dreamhouse videos. Again, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Adios!